What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Pisces, and you enjoyed my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. Just saying. This is um, How Do They Feel About You for the sign of Pisces. This could resonate if you have Pisces in any aspects of your charts, sun, moon, rising, Venus, or sun behavior, Jupiter. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with you and leave the rest. Thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. You guys are just the best. I appreciate every single like, subscribe, um, share, and donation. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess to Row 5. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only. No cash out. No Venmo. Um, I'm currently open for personal readings. It's $100 for 15 minutes if you are interested. I do them via Google Duo. And um, you have to text me. My number's in the uh, description box below for a uh, to book a appointment time if you want to a uh, one per blah, blah 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 if you want to book a personal reading just saying spirit messages you have sign of Pisces it's a free general reading so it's very very important to only take the messages to resonate and leave the rest holy crap they're all reversed oh my goodness Okay. You gave me that spark reversed. Just wait on me. Please don't give up on me reversed. I reminisce a lot on the times uh, we spent, uh, time spent with you reversed. I thought about spending time with my family, you spending time with my family and me reversed. Mirror and camera. Holy crap. Man, Pisces. You gave me that spark for a bar. God, let me see if I hear anything. This is, whoo. Someone really, really wants out of a marriage very badly. Very badly. Oh, my God. Oh, okay. Oh, Lord. Okay. So, how they feel about you is they really want out of a marriage very badly if this resonates with you. If this resonates with you, you're legally married. Um, or you feel it resonates with you. You're legally married and they really, they're legally married to you and they really want out of the marriage very badly. For some, I feel they might feel you are holding them captive. And I hate to say that, but some people do do that in marriages. They refuse to sign the papers and it's really messy and nasty. And, um, I feel that might be what your person is feeling. Um, cause all these are reversed. Um, it's terrible. Um, I'm not saying that's what you're doing, but I heard... I heard your person really wants out of the marriage. So if this resonates with you, you probably have, you're probably highly intuitive. You're a Piscean. You're probably, you're, I'm sure you're highly intuitive. You probably have sensed it in the past. Uh, maybe for some, you haven't got out because of finances or they haven't got out because of finances, but my goodness, somebody really wants out of a marriage. I'm just being straight up for real. Um, it might resonate with you. It might not, but whoever this is for, you're legally married. Binding contract. You gave me that spark for a verse. No spark anymore. No spark anymore is what I heard. Whew. Yikes. Just wait up, uh, wait on me. Please don't give up on me. Some, they are gay and they just want to move on. Oh, okay. So for some of these marriages, there's no spark any there, there anymore. And that's why they want to get out. And I get it. For some, they're gay and they just want to move on. So maybe they married you because they were gay or closet gay. And maybe now they're out and they just want to move on uh, loud and proud. Oh, man. Oh, my goodness. Just wait on me. Please don't give up on me. Time has expired. Okay, I heard time has expired. For some, these are karmic relationships and they are separating from you. Okay, I heard for some of these are karmic relationships and they're separating from you. So for some, it's a marriage and they just want out. For some, they're karmic relationships and they're separating the third party situationship or third party situation or what have you. Um, you have to play in your life how it fits. For some, it could be one or for some, it could be both. For some, it could be none. Um, but... Um, 
the spark's gone for somebody and somebody um just wants out of the freaking marriage they just want out um no give no waiting on me please god let me go sign the marriage contract uh divorce i reminisce a lot on the time spent with you so for some it's karmic situationships um some it's legally binding contracts um the karmic relationship sounds like they're separating in the process of separating now or they have already separated from you however that resonates but there's no spark in the karmic relationship and they just they want out of it buddy um, if it's the karmic relationship that res resonates with you for some it could be the marriage and the karmic relationship for some it could just be the karmic relationship i mean for some just the uh, marriage i reminisce a lot on the time spent with you reversed for some they have very negative flashbacks and for some the karmic relationship has really caused problems in their current life oh god okay so for some um the marriage or the relation karmic relationship has caused problems um in the past for some the cur current karmic relationship is causing current problems in their current life so that's why they're energetically separating from the karmic relationship scorpionic energy gemini energy libra energy okay i heard scorpionic energy libra energy and gemini energy so um those could be the person you're married to or the karmic third party s type energy or both um they could have scorpio libra or gemini in their sun moon rising venus ortho behavior jupiter you plug it in however that resonates if that resonates for you it could be one person with all those in their chart or three separate people um you could be dealing with one of these people or two plus you plug it in how it resonates scorpio libra and gemini I thought about you uh, spending time with my spending time with my family and me reversed. Separating, separating. So that's double confirmation. Separating times two. So they want to energetically separate um, and legally separate for some a lot of separating energy energy here a lot Whew. this is leo's was bad too just saying a couple of them were bad aquarius's was pretty bad too mirror mirroring each other self-image relationships reflect our wounds introspection very codependent relationships here karmic and marriage the other person is realizing this now okay i heard very codependent relationship here uh, the karmic relationship if that you plug in with that and for some the marriage but the other person so your person pisces is realizing this now um and that's why they're energetically separating or some communicably separating and for some hopefully god legally separating because for, for some of these people you're if this resonates with you you're married to a gay person for some people um legally married but it sounds like you don't want the divorce for probably money or property or asset reasons possibly um but i heard that they are um they're waking up and realizing it was a karmic it's a karmic relationship a codependent karmic relationship for the karmics and for some the marriage obviously very karmic relationship but you're legally binded and they just want to freak out um but it was codependent and they're that's why they're energetically separating themselves from you for some sexually for some um communication for some period just like cutting it off like period camera uh, that's what i'm feeling that's what i'm feeling reminiscing keepsake perception learn from the past make memories This person is learning from the past and they're about to take huge steps. Okay. Heard this person is learning from the past and they're about to take huge steps. So for some, the one the the ones that are married, whether they're gay or not, I feel it's hope um hoping to God get you to be agreeable to sign the freaking marriage con uh, divorce contract, just saying. Um and if you don't sign it they i'm sure they probably will just move on with their life because what the hell else can they do with them being held in a freaking uh, hostage in marriage i mean that's that's like abuse there should be um like 
Somebody should be arrested for that. I'm just saying, because that's, that's abuse. Um, and I'm serious about that. I'm serious. I feel like at least one Piscean in the world needs to hear that. And I'm serious. You should never, never, never hold somebody in a marriage. Never. Never. Because of asset for money or what have you. Uh, there's a strategic reason why at least one of you guys is doing that. And I'm serious. Not saying all you guys are, but somebody is. Um, that's, that's sick. That's sick. Um, and some of these people are gay and some they're not that you're married to. And some, the karmics, they just... Um, they're learning from the past. They're, uh, for some, the karmic, the karmic relationship is causing problems in their current life. So, you know, of course, why would they stay in that? For some, they're just learning from it and they're moving on. So you plug it in how that resonates, if that resonates for you. Okay, I didn't hear anything else. All right. I hope this helped. I love you guys. If you think anyone else could benefit from the messages, be sure the videos on your social media. I'd very much appreciate it. CBJA. CBJNA. That's what I just heard. CBJNA. And W. And W. CBJ. CBJNA and W. So C is in cat. B is in boy. J is in jack-o'-lantern, A is in apple, and W is in watermelon. So that could be your first initial, middle initial, last initial, your karmic's first initial, middle initial, last initial, your spouse's first initial, middle initial, last initial, um, somebody you're connected to's first initial, middle initial, last initial, or a place you guys frequented, or you frequent, or they frequent, or a street name initial, or something of that nature. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. Love you guys. I'm going to say.